Today is truly the adventures of side boob. <laughs> I'll try to tell this story in a way that won't completely horrify the men in the crowd, but uh, no promises. And yes, all the war paint is on because I have to go try to convince people to sell their home with me after doing this, which is gonna be awfully hard because I can't think about anything else but this. Here's what happened. Uh, last year, I entertained you all with going to the the lady doctor, the she shed doctor, and showing you the Golden Vagina Awards, the stickers in the hall. If you're new to this channel and highly confused, that's fine, just buckle up. Anyway, I went back this year and my doctor wasn't available, which kind of made me nervous, but whatever. I mean, these things are pretty routine. You get completely violated, you get a sticker out the door, tap you on your ass, you're on your way. Done. Every year. Every year. Uh, she wasn't available, and we just kind of did the thing, the normal things, all the things. And uh, when she was getting to second base, she circled back on one area. And the second she did that, like, my brain came online. I was like, why did you just do that? You're just supposed to go in a circle, and then you're done. And then she did it again. And then I was like, I could feel my heart beat in my ears and I'm watching her face, kind of like how I watch flight attendants faces to make sure the plane isn't about to crash. And she just had this kind of look on her face and she said, I think we should check this out. And I sat up like a rocket and I was like, we should check what out? I'm not old enough for us to be checking anything out. She felt a lump. And I went and I'm always like joking to making the nurses laugh and like freaking everybody out with my commentary. This year I shot a video in there about real estate. I mean, I just don't give a damn. I really just don't. I'm here to entertain the hell out of everybody. And I, and I went from like laughing to dead serious. And she goes, I, I wouldn't like on a scale one to 10, like just a one, you know, I just wouldn't worry about it. And I was like, too late lady, the crazy train has left the station. You circled back twice and now you want to check it out. Anyway, so that's what uh, we're doing now. And the point of this video is there is some practical information that I do think will be helpful um, to others, which I'll get to in a second. But immediately they ordered up a, a mammogram and a ultrasound and like all kinds of other stuff. And I was like, I thought this was a level one. I just wanted to talk to my doctor. And I called three times to get an, a second appointment with her because she's been feeling me up for 12 years. Like she knows these boobs. Few people have had as much access to these as she has. And I couldn't get a call back. And I'll say this, as much as I love each and every one of my doctors, you learn an awful lot about your medical care when you actually need to talk to your doctor. And it got to a point where I was on the phone and they were like, just go get the test. I said, I need for my mental health to talk to my doctor. I have to talk to her. And I never got a call back. When I was in TV news, I had company insurance, private insurance, and it was delicious. It was like having a black Amex card. I'd go to the dentist and like throw that thing on the table and be like, you know what? Order me up a prostate exam and one for everyone in the lobby. Like, I'll take care of it. It's on me, everybody. You could, everything was covered. It was wonderful. Now I have private insurance that I bought for um, traveling purposes because you can use it anywhere in the country. My insurance will not cover mammograms, ultrasounds, anything diagnostic for anything in the side boob region, which is ridiculous because when diagnostics aren't covered, people delay care. Now, I'm not that person. Uh, I've seen too much death in my life, but that's what people do because it's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars out of pocket. So it makes no sense not to cover that. The only thing they would cover is a random wellness mammogram. Cause like who gets a random wellness mammogram? Make your boob look like a pancake just for fun every year? Uh-uh. Although now that I know that, I'm just gonna go get one for shits and giggles and like, and then get my golden vagina award on the way out the door. So they wouldn't cover anything. I tried finance, I tried everything because I'm working a 100% commission job now in a brand new career and like the money thing is scary. It is scary. The, the practical thing that I wanna tell you is that because I had a friend who worked in the hospital, when I was telling her what was going on, she said, 
you got to call the health department. And I'll shorten this story by saying that for any kind of critical care like that, there tends to be community programs for people who are in certain income brackets. And they're not heavily advertised. You kind of have to know somebody. But if you ever go through what I'm about to go through, I'll say call your health department bother the hospital like relentlessly because they're not going to offer this up. They're going to take your insurance card, swipe it like a credit card and, and bill you all day long. But because I was able to call around and check in with the health department, there is a program here for certain income brackets where they will do your mammogram and your ultrasound and all that. And once you're in the program, if you do need like the heavy duty stuff, which I'm not even gonna usher these words into the universe, they, you are in that program throughout your treatment. But if you get your test done somewhere else, you can't like jump back in. So I, I just, for every lady out there, I mean, I am not that old. <laughs> I mean, I'm no spring chicken, but I'm not that old. Um, call your, all the community programs, the health department you can find because I think my first impulse was to get it done as fast as possible, which is reasonable, but I'm so glad that I made those extra calls when the hospital and my doctor was ignoring me because now I actually have a plan of care that I should hopefully be able to afford. So we're gonna go in to the health department and like start going down this road and figure out what's going on. I hope that she was, I hope that she's wrong and everything's fine, but I won't know until we get in there and we'll just chalk this up to one of the many adventures of Casey Roman and side boob. Well, that was inspiring. I got tag teamed on this one, not one, but two doctors. And we did the whole thing again, the whole thing. I came here for the left side. That's where I was told the problem was. She's spending all this time over on the right. I'm like, what are you doing? Left, focus, focus. They were great, they really were. And they could tell I was totally freaked out. So everyone was trying to make me laugh, which is usually my job. Uh, and she said, no, I think there's an issue over on the right. I'm like, great, great, great. You know what, from now on, all the money on the merch and the Teespring, that's going to implants because these things will kill you. I just cut them off and like give me new ones. I don't want them. They've never helped me with anything, anything. So now we're going like full blown mammogram and ultrasound and all that. And they still said, they were like, well, you don't have a family history. Like, don't get too freaked out. I'm like, don't get too freaked out. I came here for the left. There's something weird in the right, but like, don't get too, oh, okay. I'll say this, um, now that I've done it twice and twice they found something weird, um, I have such a whole new respect and appreciation for women who when they tell that story and you're like oh wow you know thoughts and prayers i in news i did so many stories on breast cancer i don't know why it was like my thing for a while and you hear these stories about the day that they got the diagnosis or the lump and like i'm obviously not there i don't have a diagnosis yet i just have a lot to worry about but, you know, that's what we say. We're like, oh, well, you know, you're going to be fine. And you don't understand the lightning rod of fear that goes through a woman until you're the one who's there when they circle back and they get that look on their face. You just don't understand until it's you. And this whole channel was started because my grandmother died and I realized that how short life was and I wanted to go do all these things. And I'll tell you what, it's like certainly lighting a fire under my ass again of, of like what I'm doing every day and just how terribly short. Again, I have no permanent diagnosis that like it is what it is, but I've got two sets of medical entities now that like feel like we have to go for bigger and better testing so and i'll also say this they gave me this as i was leaving i don't want this it's a it's an adorable bag with all kinds of pink stuff and for all the breast cancer fundraisers and runs and all that stuff that i've been on and like all the pink stuff and everyone's smiley i'll say when you're on the side of like possibly needing 
Uh, the pink stuff is not that cute anymore. It's like not adorable at all. And I don't want any of that merchandise. I just want to be told that I don't have anything to worry about. So very eye-opening to say the least. So now I've got to go try to sell some real estate so that I can get back my travel budget and hopefully God help whoever I meet today because it is just angry side boob. <laughs> but we will just keep on keeping. <laughs>